Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing video of some lovely Unison pastels that I got. Now I received these a few weeks ago and I actually filmed a lovely unboxing video when they were all fresh in their boxes and then I accidentally deleted all of the video files before I finished editing the video so this is take two and hopefully I'll get this video out. But I think it might work to my benefit as the painting that I was using a lot of my new colours on is now finished so I can talk about some of the colours that I ordered and then how I put them to use in this particular painting. Hope you enjoy the video. So the first little box that I'll show you is the Midnight 8 and this is a lovely set. Really dark rich colours and you can see the two that I've left sticking up I've already made good use of in this particular painting. And a lot of the time when I'm painting big dark areas I will use a lot of black but then I'll come back in with nice dark purples and blues and rich colours to really make it a lot richer. So it's always good to add to the dark collection and that's a lovely set. The rest of the pastels I just ordered individual colours. Some are repeats of what I use a lot and as soon as I got them I put them into colour order so they go roughly from light to dark and it just makes it easier to see what I've got and how I can filter that into my other pastel collection. So we'll take the top box first and we've got a lot of light colours in this selection. I'm always looking to add to that range. In this piece in particular We've got so many light colours through the Westies coat and even some of these light lilacs were useful in the pots. And then I added some lovely vibrant yellows which I haven't made use of just yet. But these limey greens, so lighter greens with a lot of yellow in it and I needed a lot of that in this piece. So a lot of the highlighted leaves and often when you get foliage that's been hit by sunlight you'll get a lot of yellow in the greens where it's been hit by the sunlight and then you'll get um, a type of green with a lot more blue in it, a bit like this. And you'll get that in the shadow areas. So it's good to have a little range of both of those types of greens. On to the second box. And I got myself a few lovely vibrant colours that I haven't used before always trying to expand my range. Also some blues that I use a lot of the time. And then a few more greens that I used in this piece as well. So many greens go into one piece so it's always good to expand your greens. And then a few of those bluey greens that I talked about, also useful in the dark range and some more rich darks. So just a good collection to expand what I already have and give me lots more choice when I'm painting. But if you're just starting out with pastel, don't get overwhelmed at all the colours. Uh, get yourself a good set that uh, describes the subject matter that you want to paint the most. So if it's animals, look for something with an uh, animal set. And then try and expand certain areas like your greens and other vibrant colours if you want to introduce landscapes. So you can get going with very few pastels and it has taken me about 10 to 12 years to amass a good collection of quality pastels. So see it as a long term investment. The thing I'm working on at the minute is creating this colour list. And it lists all of the colours that I used within this one painting. And I'll refer to this list anytime I make a tutorial or any videos from this painting and then I'll be able to include the colour list along with my narration. So if you're interested in longer tutorials check me out on Patreon. I have a lot of really in-depth tutorials showing a big range of subject matter. Then I've got to clean all my pastels and get them back into their individual boxes. And to clean them I just take a piece of kitchen roll or something similar and I rub each pastel individually and as I do I, I list it on my chart and then put it back in its place. 
So I just keep folding the kitchen roll over and using a new strip of it, and this works fine. Also, if you'd like to see some of the pinks that I used to create this piece, check out one of my other unboxing videos as I got a full selection of pinks of all different brands, uh, mostly American brands that I hadn't tried before, and you can see a full unboxing video about just those pinks. I'm hoping to make some good comparison videos about all the different pastel brands on the market, as it's quite confusing when you're starting out uh, which pastel brand will suit your style the best. I still love my Unisons, I have a huge collection of them growing now and I love the texture of them. They're soft but they're not so soft that they crumble away. They come in their papers with some wonderfully sharp edges that you can already use to achieve a lot of detail. But then I can also wear them down into these tiny shards with really sharp edges, like this one in particular. And I used that one for many of the smaller leaves in this painting. Uh, they're most useful when they're broken into small pieces. I'll be back very soon with the time lapse for this piece. If you haven't already, please do subscribe here on YouTube so that you hear when that sort of thing gets released. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.